The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Uh, go in detail of that so welcome everybody um so let's go over what is the topic for today before we go into too much detail so to, today is own your own call tracking solution and learn round robin today so what do i mean with own your call tracking solution basically when you log in, you see something like this. I see this screen with the call portal, sign to lead tracker jack, huh? simple configuration. So you can also have, if you order just very simple, your own domain. I will show you in a second how to order your domain. Huh? It will see a pretty clean a call portal login which you can use for your clients to log in and look up their calls so if you are if your intent is to do call tracking for one of your client and you want to kind of white label it white label means you sell the call portal under your brand like you know you go to a grocery store and you have the brand uh, let's say, give me a, a really popular brand name and like ketchup, huh? So you have a really A, a brand ketchup, but you can also have uh, under your name, under your domain name, and sell it as you own the call portal. It's your call portal and it has no reference to. The original makes sense so with the call portal you have the option to y label it and it will show in the second how to do it it's kind of you know it's super 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 simple so let me first cover that so let me go to login webinar okay it has a capture for security login Okay, and here you see here the link white label. You guys see this? So call, emails, call, track, email leads, tax leads, invoice, repos, keyword analyzer, and white label. So you click on white label, and here you uh, can order any domain. So you have to order it inside the call portal, but after you have you have uh, ordered the domain. It takes about a day for us to set it up and that the domain is appropriated and all kind of details. But after that, it, uh, it shows this kind of uh, login screen. Is everybody clear with it? It's so simple, correct? You don't need to have any technical knowledge. You just log in, go to the white label uh, menu, and you order the domain name. Any question about how bad about own your own call tracking system solution? Huh? So when are you doing that? So let us let assume yeah, yeah. So there are kind of two ways to use the the call portal. Okay. It's kind of for yourself, correct? Okay. Let me do this neatly. So uh, the call portal is uh, you for yourself as marketer. Okay, so you don't want to show your own. Um, you know, nowadays we only have mobile, huh? Phone number. No, you don't want that. 
okay and if you grow over time okay you want to track you want to track how many calls you get from let's say the website a youtube video and maybe you have it uh uh but other places we put phone numbers and business card so now you can um see what is working for you the best now a very important uh, feature what the call portal provide is call handling. So what does it do? You have the option to instant send a text message back to the caller. Okay, I will show you okay, in a second. Okay, you also have uh, the possibility to a uh, caller is able to leave a voice message okay and you can and then you have of course you know with all of that call notification now call notification is kind of you can have a text message you can receive text messages and or emails with caller details so what does that mean it means that you can have the call recording as a link okay you click on the link and you listen to what the caller with information the caller left so then at that moment you can do it as a text message you listen to the the call recording and at that moment you decide do you want do you want to call back or not now this is as marketer okay but the same kind of deal is for i will call that mark uh, business owner okay now of course now most of the times they want to know this so that's the same they want to know which how many calls do you get from the advertising from the website from the youtube from the print from the newspaper yellow page and they will find out if they put 500 dollars on adwords 500 dollars on the website 500 dollars on youtube find 500 on print they will find out what works the best but also very important is the call handling because nowadays those businesses they are busy huh? they get they it's always they get they are busy on the job they cannot answer each call they rather have people leaving a voice message but they want them instantly follow up with a text message make sense so now and Maybe they don't want to do it for privacy, but they want to put it for tracking and put a tracking phone number on, you know, on marketing channels. Okay, so I will cover this as uh, first and then, then we go to our problem. I promise you, okay? Save this. So you go to numbers, all numbers. Okay. Then you click on uh, already order some numbers. Okay. Numbers, new tracking number. Okay. And then you can enter the error code. Okay. For most error codes, there are phone numbers available. Sometimes a city or an area has three different area codes so then you kind of have to kind of find out which area code works or are numbers for insert available numbers 
Okay, and then it just shows you which numbers, which five, six, one numbers with that error codes are available, and also you can order called free numbers. Okay, so I I I prefer uh, local numbers. Okay, and then I say I, I I always look for a nice number, and then I click on buy number. Now. 90% of the settings are already set out, okay? It, it remembers my destination number. I can change, okay? It says you know the destination. Destination number will say, if they call this tracking number, if somebody calls this tracking number, it will get forwarded to this number. Somebody calls this number, okay? So how does it work, kind of? So the, so the caller, calls a tracking number, correct? Okay. And then the tracking number calls kind of the, what do you call it, destination number? So this is the caller number. Okay. Tracking number, destination number. So this, so because the tracking number is in between, it, doesn't show the business number, doesn't show your number, okay? And now we can do all kind of call handling. And let me sh explain what call handling options there are, okay? So one of them is voice message. Voice message means somebody calls, you don't pick up the call, but you wa don't want to lose that call. Okay, you can say enable voice message in, let's say, in 10 seconds. If if the destination number doesn't answer, if the business number doesn't answer the call, the caller is able to leave a voice message, okay? Now you can have the caller listen audio. You can say here, you can just um, select an, a predefined audio or you can upload your own audio. Or if you, if you don't like any of those audios, okay? You can enter just text, and then they will hear an automatic text audio file, correct? So that's simple. Now, once they leave a voice message, you want them to email to, okay? Let's, you know, I, I put, for demo purpose, I put just my support email, but it can be any. Huh? It should be yours or the business owner who is interested in a call, okay? And you can click on the template, and then you can just customize your email template. Simple, correct? Now, you can also send them, and that is what I, I don't want to wait an hour. I don't, I kind of don't look all the time on my email, okay? But if somebody calls me, I kind of see that as important. Or if it could be important, I listen to the voice matches, and then if somebody's interested in my service, okay, I probably call them back. So I, I enter my phone number. Make sense? Now I get the voice message, okay, as, an, uh, uh, as a text message. And I can listen to it on my phone, the mobile phone, okay? And then decide, hey, that is interesting. I call that caller, okay? I don't let, I don't let the caller make uh, going calls. Any question about voice message setting, settings simple correct you can enable voice in the next in, in in 10 seconds you can also say i don't want to hear my i never want to he, uh, have my phone ring okay i don't want to even have the option that my phone rings okay so i want them to directly go to voice message so in this zero seconds kind of the same as zero seconds correct zero seconds now, now, are you calling from the tracking number so the display to the caller? Okay, we will come to the caller ID, Jamie. One second. Caller ID will come here. Okay. Then, send text message to caller. Okay. Now, here, you can send a text message to the caller for missed calls. So the way how you have to think is when you are sent the call and text message, you kind of are stored in the phone, correct? 
people look the tax match up you if they need you they will find you as is in the tax match not as a call but in the tax match so you can just say send tax match to call of a miss calls like uh uh sorry that i missed your call i will get back to you as soon as possible jack now if somebody calls and i don't answer that call okay okay i need to enable it sorry i need to enable it then they get a text message okay me i will listen to the voice message okay and then depending on that i will call them back now the same id but the message a little bit different is for successful calls okay you answer the phone okay you enable it and say thanks for calling okay okay uh, thanks for calling jack Hoban. okay and i can put a link in the website or whatever okay but i want to get burnt in the phone with burnt i means i if they want to follow up with me that's easy because they have a text message for me make sense everybody understand for missed calls and successful calls you can send them a text message back when they call you automated okay that is automated you can if you call my support line you might if i don't answer the phone you might get a text message back and say please send me an email to the support system support at jackcom.com okay now for you you want alerts correct text message alerts so you can send me text message for every call okay not only for voice match for every call okay you can all you can send me text if i don't answer the call i want at least a text message so i can look it up what was what the call i had is in mind okay and then you enter your phone number here now now it comes interesting okay you have a website and used to be it used to be that you say call call five six one okay one two three one two three four okay I, I i kind of like to know do you rather call a business or do you rather text a business which category are you so you have a website you see a number and do you rather call that business or do you rather tax the business i see 50 50 at the moment okay i see 50 50 at the moment now i'm the tax person okay because call takes a half hour okay so our and if if i don't get it solved in the tax match then i'm willing to pay but now either way it's fine your answer is always good i just wanted to know okay now for that we have the option call or text hmm? call or text now you can put that on the website your phone number your tracking phone number okay so if you want to enable that enable forward text messages now the website visitor or the youtube visitor or the print visitor whatever they can also text that number okay and now you enter the the, the mobile number you you receive the text messages okay makes sense so with this setting you can you enable it that they can text message the number and not only call the number now here it comes interesting okay you said include text messages person phone number so if you select this and somebody texts you automatically it includes the number the phone number from the person who text messaged you so if the text message is at your interest okay you can call them back easily the phone number of the the phone number of the 
the person who tax you will include it. So let's say the tax message is kind of, kind of, uh, I am interested in your service, okay? How does it work? Okay, you was, you, 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 this is a text message, okay? Make sense? Now, as text message receiver, I probably want to speak with him. So if I select include text message person phone number, the text message will show 561, uh, 45, whatever. It will, it will include that phone number. Now, if the phone number is part of the text message, it is very easy for me to follow up. I can either text them back, okay, or I can just call them back. I have options now. Make sense? So that is what this option does, okay? Include text message person phone number. Now, and that is that is your number, okay? So you you need to. That is your number. That is the kind of that business number, huh? But can also be another number. Now, text message back. So that is the lead text message, okay? And now you can say thanks uh, for your message. I will get back to you. As soon as possible, okay? And then your name. And if you are a local business owner, you can put an address, okay? You can a website URL, okay? And you can do all kind of things. Now, they when they tax you, they will get automatic tax message back. Not when they call you only. Here, this is when they call you. But this is when they tax you. They tax your number, and now you can tax them back automatically is that not amazing so now this is what i mean that no but you haven't seen this anywhere huh this is the call handling okay this is how you stay connected get getting leads getting clients is all about follow-up okay time okay is all is a wall of connection. How do you say that? Connect, stay connected. Deliver good support. Okay. Now, this is your first experience for many. Many call this is the first experience. Okay. Here, yeah. you call a business, okay? You have never done that. You, you have to build up your trust. Assume you call a business. It takes ages that you get somebody on the phone. They don't, you get the voice message, okay? You leave a message and it takes you, it takes them an hour or more to get back. What do you think? They are busy, they are not interested. I don't, they, you know, I'm not giving my money, correct? But now, assume you call them, you leave a voice message, instantly you get a friendly text message back, and the, and the receiver, he will call you back in a couple of minutes because you left a voice message and you sounded interested. Huh? So now you, you build up that trust, okay? You build up that experience, that positive experience. Huh? It's about a positive experience. Huh? And that is what they need when they are looking for a service. Good. So I, is everybody clear on how tax match leads works? Okay. You, you can enable it. Instead of call, they can also tax it. And you can include the lead, the person who, who texted you. You can include their phone number in a tax me you receive. At that moment, you can tax them back because you know the phone number. And also, you can call them back. Huh? And if you want to do friendly, if you really want to take to the next level, okay, you 
instantly sign up the tag, smash it back. Huh? Okay, and then there are simple settings like call ringtone, what you want to hear, okay? Call recording, okay? You just said this this call maybe record for training purpose, okay? You want to listen to this calls, okay? Even if the conversation did not go well, you want to go listen it carefully and see how you can improve the next time, okay? And if the call went well, you still want to listen to it and see what you did, what you said, and do the same the next time, correct? Now, the whisper message, the message you, you hear on your end, let's say, call Turbo Turbo Turbo, is for example, you can also say, hey, this is this is webinar, and then you have that phone number shown on the webinar, and they call you during the webinar, you can open an audio file, okay, caller ID. Somebody asked that in the, in the beginning, so you can enable a caller, caller name lookup, caller name lookup. So if somebody calls you, the application will try to find the name who called you. That's amazing, correct? Because I think it calls a couple of cents. It calls a couple of cents, but you will know the name who called you, who is connected to that number. And then you have also the option show the caller number or you show the tracking number. Somebody who calls you, you might want to show the tracking number. But you but most times I want to see the caller number, so I click on it and I call back. Okay. Then you have call forwarding. So assume you have two people can answer the call. Two people can answer the call, okay? You can say, hey. After uh, 50 seconds, a little bit much, but let's say after 10 seconds, okay, let somebody else get that call. I'm busy. Eh? So let's say you are two person company, okay, or you can say, hey, uh, I typically answer the call, but if I'm busy after 10 seconds, let somebody else answer the call. Make sense? So that is this setting, call forwarding, okay? Then, the next level, if you really are a bigger company, we have IVR settings, okay? And enable IVR settings. So you can say, I can operate in house when you are open, okay? You don't want to answer at night, okay? And then you say, select one, and then, Select one and, and connect to number, you know, one 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 one. Okay, and then select two. Okay, and then you can destination uh, to uh, appointment. Correct. Key counter code. Press one to connect. Okay, key one. Okay. Okay, cannot same use. Okay. Cannot same the use key. Okay, one, two. Okay, sorry. Press to connect, huh? and then you do United States or whatever. So now IVR, if you want to set up for a bigger company, okay. You can do that for uh, press one for the service departments, press two for sales, press three for whatever, and press another for the operator. That is what the IVR setting does. And you can set up openings hour. Okay, not everyone is using this. That's fine. Okay, you can do email alerts. You can get an email for every call, for missed calls, and for don't send any email, okay? Makes sense. So I know it's a lot of settings, but the interface is really good. It should not give you a lot of trouble to set it up. Any questions about setting up the call tracking number? Actually, I will upload a 10-minute uh, training video about it. 
is already uploaded in Facebook, but I also will upload it uh, here in the support tutorials. Okay, I will do that tomorrow. What if my client already has a track number? Can I still it up in the system with it? Yes, you can go to numbers, numbers, port numbers, porting request, and then we will help you out. Any other question? Good. Now, we already covered a lot. So we covered, set up your own call tracking solution, okay? Your white label domain. And the next step is round robin, okay? Round robin, okay, round robin. Who knows what round robin is? Let me ask me first this. It's a new term, correct? It sounds good. So what is round robin? Round robin is you generate for different reps, yes. So you generate, let's say, 100 calls per month. Okay, and a business business pays or likes or can handle can or can handle probably pays only for fifty calls per month. What are you going to do? You sign up another client, correct? You're going so you say okay and let's say business one business two get the remaining calls huh so get the remaining calls pays for the remaining calls Make sense? Now there is more. Let's say we, you get 100 calls per month. Okay. You don't want to get those calls get raised, correct? So business one get priority. Okay. Let's say let's say X seconds. to answer the call, okay? Now, business one. Okay, now, business two, receive the call, business one does not answer in time. Make sense? So that's another way for round robin. Now we have another way, okay? We have another on the calls per month. Okay. This all connected businesses receive the call. The first one who answer the call, get the call, and it stop calling the other businesses. Now, that is the high chance that your, your generated call uh, don't get wasted. Now, actually, I think I need to understand, uh, you kind of, in tracking number, so what is round robin? Round robin is you have a round robin tracking number is linked, connected, linked to multiple uh, campaigns, 
campaigns. How do you say that? Multiple business tracking businesses. Okay, let's say it's it's kind of businesses. Okay, and in the in the in the call pod we know that we call that campaigns. Huh? Makes sense. You have one tracking number and can be linked to one, two, four, five, ten businesses. And depending how you want to handle those calls, it will it will execute on it. Make sense? Now let me ask this again. Do you understand the principle what a round robin number is? You get instead of one tracking number, one business, your round robin number is one tracking number to multiple businesses. And you kind of have the option. In a setting, I will show you in a sec how you want to handle those calls. Okay. Another option is business one pays more than business two. So I like that business one get the, those calls. Okay. So I'm going to order live with you a round robin number and we'll go over those settings. So go to numbers, new round robin numbers. Okay. You can enter any area code, okay? For this purpose, I will just use 561. And then let me select one. They're all good for now. Continue. Now, there's, you want to record the calls. You do a lot of settings, you know, which apply to this call from live webinar. Okay? Continue. Send an email for for missed calls. I like that. So if some if the email get missed, if the call get missed, can send me an email. Okay, submit. And now you see this business one, business two, business three. You guys see this? This is what I this is this is this. You have one round robin number one. One round robin. It's linked to multiple businesses. Okay. You can do one or two or three, okay, whatever. Those business, those are campaigns. They are defined first, okay? They are created first. You create the campaigns first, then you order a round robin number and link to it, okay? Give the name, okay? Webinar, live, demo, okay? And then save changes. You see here, we have a live demo, okay? Click on it. And you see this number. So it's kind of the same campaign name, company name, tracking number, okay? And you can active or you can say pause it. If you say business one uh, doesn't need to a number anymore, you just pause it. And I have call recording, whisper message, call ID, email alerts, text message. Now, the thing what makes it really interesting is call option, okay? So don't get nervous, okay? We will go over every, every setting. And this is really, now, you will not see so many advanced settings, but they will cover your needs, okay? The first setting is connect the call to all campaigns at the same time, okay? You see, they, every Every business, every business get the call, and it stops calling when one of those businesses answer the call. So how is that possible? So the business only see the tracking number; they don't see the the caller number. So they so they don't can they cannot bother the caller. Okay, they only see the tracking number. Make sense? Everybody understand the setting? Connect call to all campaigns at the same time. The next setting is forward the call to the next campaign. Okay, so first let's say in 10 seconds, okay, it's it calls company one. After 10 seconds, if they don't answer the call, company two. And if it doesn't answer the call, company three. The next lead, okay, it starts with Joe. Okay, Joe get the call, then auto repair. And Aline. So it rotates, okay? About they should get about the same call. But you do you have the option that 
uh, the call doesn't get wasted. That is, you know, you did so much effort to generate that call, you, you, you want to have that call answered. Make sense? So rotate the call. Forward the call in X seconds. Okay? Now, connect call only to one campaign at a time. So you, 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 the, the call gets connected to Arlene. And it doesn't matter if Arlene answers or not, only Arlene gets the call. Okay, the next call gets connected to Joe. It doesn't matter if Joe answers the call, whether or not, it only gets connected to Joe. And the next call gets connected to the auto repair. It doesn't matter if the auto repair company answers the phone or no, it only gets connected to the auto repair. Are those three settings clear? Because we're going to the next level. Okay? Good. Connect call at the same time. Now there are too much checkbox. Cap amount of calls. Okay. So when you get paid for 50 calls, you kind of want to do something with those more calls you generate. You just, so you are able to generate 100 calls. You get only paid for 50 calls. Okay. You can say cap amount of calls. Okay. Let's say for the month. Okay. And you can say. 50 calls, okay, and this one 20 calls, and this one 30 calls. What does that mean? It makes sure to do all at the same time. Let's say out repair received 30 calls, and those two other ones didn't receive 20 or 50 calls. Joe and Aline get the remaining calls, huh? So now you can control how many calls they receive each month. And everybody's happy. Huh? Now everybody's happy when they get 30, 20, 50 calls where they paid for. Huh? Or let's say you prioritize the calls, okay? So you say, uh, let's do the capping off, prioritize the call, okay? I want always Arlene uh, first. And then Joe, and then the out repair. Okay, I can say give second and third priority. Now I make sure Aline get the most calls. Make sense? Now forward call to the next campaign. In Ten seconds. Here the same. Okay, prioritize the campaign. We receive the the calls. Okay, Aline is priority one. And if Aline doesn't answer the call in ten seconds, and Joe get the call, the second call. And then the third is out repair, get the call. Okay, now you can send the calls according to prioritization. And basically, you prioritize how much you get paid or how much you the agreement is. Hmm? And then connect all the campaigns at the same time. But you, you will you say, let's say, two, two have priority one. Okay, so they will get. And then capped amount of calls. So now it comes a kind of kind of kind of um, complicated. But here you can say say they get the call first, and once those fifty and twenty calls are filled, then the out repair company get the call. Huh? So now you can uh, really how do you say the guide setting? Basically, what it is, is makes everybody happy. The business owners are happy because they get the amount of calls they need, they paid for, and you are happy because you can maximize your profit. Make sense? So this is round robin. The interface is really simple. Okay, the settings are simple once you understand those settings. This is the call option. It's kind of call handling. So, what is round robin? Round robin is you link one tracking number to multiple business, and and with call options, you can hand automate automatically. That the, that is the part. This is the part I like. Automatically handle the calls. To everyone's one's like. That's basically what it is. 
they get the amount of calls they paid for, okay? And you send the calls how, how the agreement is, huh? and most times how you get paid. So, it's much easier than you think, correct? The interface is really, I, I, the, the first, it, it's now about 10 years to call a portal, okay? It's not much to improve on, okay? It's just everybody has over time, give feedback, ask questions, optimized. It should not be hard for you to, to use it. How does the call report look for like for reporting? Okay, it's just go to reports, okay? Reports. In call reports, you can see it per number, okay? You can do, uh, you can group the calls, okay? There's a lot of call reports available. Now, what is, the, what is the advantage of the call portal compared to other portals or application, okay? Basically, if you go uh, to others, the options, so the, the call handling options are never the same, okay? They might not have the text message reply back. They might not have the round robin, okay? They might not have the the white label uh, setting. It's kind of, you know, when it's kind of, you go to, you want to uh, eat a cake, correct? Cake, okay? You can, you can buy the ingredients and cook by yourself or if you're not technical or if you're not a good chef okay you buy the the cake make sense can we do voice drop calls from within the call portal no that is not part of it Any other questions? Good. So, one, one more thing. So, if you go to Jack Hummel, I think I put it here. If you go to jackhummel.com, go to products, okay, you will find more information when you go to call tracking, okay? So, go to jackhummel.com, products, and then call tracking. Somehow. Can you create a PDF report of all calls? Yes, you can. A, a, a PDF and a CSV file. You can also create company logins. Okay, there's so much. Okay. I don't want to go to every detail. Actually, actually, I could, I have, uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay. Download the quick start PDF, the call button against the tutorial, miss calls, the call button features, okay? Here, this is what I was uh, thinking, if you really want to learn more, okay? Then look up your chat, uh, and then you see all those uh, references, okay? This is not part of instant reply. No, 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 no. This, this is, they don't only do the calls, okay? So, uh, what I wanted to say. So you can have, uh, go to company, one second. Okay, Arlene campaign, company phone number. I can add company, tracking number, tracking number, opening hours and closing hours, okay? You can set up opening and closing, closing hours.
go to numbers or companies okay campaign all our access you can change it how to pair ad queen company online access how do you record your voice in the voice mail when you don't answer the phone you you have to record it outside at the moment you have to you just use your phone to record the, uh, the audio or you just have a headset huh? or if you don't want that you just go to fiverr and then you can upload that file Make sense, James? Copy online access, enable it. Webinar, then they you can have the company log in. When they log in here, they will see what you want them to see. How does invoicing work? Invoicing is kind of a topic on itself, but you can get paid per month call prepaid you can link it to uh, your merchant account to stripe authorize and paypal hmm? so you can just get paid to your like prepaid per lead i think i will do another webinar about invoicing but that's all possible Make sense? So you can just order white label, okay? And once white label, it will show something like this, okay? Now, I think the goal of this meeting was on your call track report solution, okay? You can order white label and learn about round robin today. And I think with that, I think uh, we covered today's training and we will do another training for invoicing i think it's a nice topic but i cannot do it in two minutes so if you have questions about the call portal just send an email to support at jackhom.com let me put it here support at jackhom.com or go to jackhom.com dot com website and that's also where the training available and with that are we thank you guys for your time and looking forward to the next training next week thank you so much